Hi, my name is Jason Clark. Um, I'm actually not a dispensary um, or access point. What we do is we provide the medications to the access points. We provide a very high class medication, or a very high quality medication that we spend years. We have scientific equipment, probably over 100,000 invested in lab equipment to actually do very in-depth extractions. Um, for fact, this year we actually won uh, the Concentrates Cup. We provide also our medicine to over 20 cancer patients. Now these moratoriums, these groves that you're going to shut down provide trim to us because that's a sub money that a lot of the growers have made from us. A lot of these things you're going to do are going to put people back on welfare. You're going to raise your your um, cost of a health care again. I can tell you right now from who I serve in health, over 20. I've got 10 videos online of uh, patients there testifying about how they either have remission from cancer, circulation issues. I myself started this because I suffer from HMP, which is, degrades my nervous system. And this has been the only medication that has allowed me to gain weight and not turn into a 145 pound, you know, phantom almost. I got into this because we wanted to help people. And you guys really need to think about patients. Because, I mean, in my company, I care less about I-5 or 2 or making a damn bit of money on the for-profit side. And I did this for this. I used to be in artificial intelligence and technology. I got into this because once I learned what I could do with this, and we're doing stuff like fractionating. We're going to be separating out cannabinoids soon, creating non-psychoactive treatments. Well, all of these growers and all of this trim is what fuels our company to allow us to do this. And when you start making these moratoriums, that trim, some of this trim is given to us because they know we help cancer patients. You're going to mess up all of that. Potentially, even if you shut down enough of it and we can't get access to trim, people can start dying. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how passionate I am about this. You know, you, it's not, you separate them. You're right. The recreational people, you need give them access to some regular stuff, but don't go and take away real meds that real companies and real people have spent time developing to help create cures and treatments that help people. It's wrong. They separate it, figure out how to make it more active. I agree, there needs to be more implementation. There needs to be better testing. Don't even get me started on that. I agree with regulation. It needs to be there, but it needs to be separate from those who just want to catch a bus, from those who need this as a likely, critically changing medicine that keeps them, and I mean, off of, well, let's just talk about putting everybody back on, on, on Percocet and Oxycontins. How, how many people in this room raise of hands who are on barbiturates of some sort or some type of narcotic that were able to get off of it using marijuana? Now, all these people are going back on your healthcare system when you take this away. So that's money you guys are still going to be paying. Thank you.